what is line three? A lot of people want to know and a lot of people don't know. So think of it this way. There are six really old pipelines that they put through in northern Minnesota, shipping diluted tar sands from Alberta to Superior, Wisconsin. And one of those lines is called Line 3. It has, according to Enbridge, about uh, 900 structural anomalies in it. Structural anomalies are things like small little pinhole leaks, maybe it comes some cracks, and some of those end up to be big problems, like that Kalamazoo spill. That was a structural anomaly. Line three, it's old and it's corroding and it's at the end of its life. It's already had a number of leaks and spills and frankly, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. There is a likelihood that there is a whole bunch of contamination under the present line. And once that corrodes, our children and grandchildren may one day watch it drain a lake or a wetland or flood a farm field. Fixing these problems is very expensive, so Enbridge wants to abandon the pipeline walk away and build a brand new one in a brand new corridor. Enbridge calls this a replacement project. They're replacing line three. They are not replacing line three. They are putting in a whole new corridor and doubling the size of the line. That is not a replacement. That's a brand new line. And that's what's wrong. So we've got two problems. First, we've got a problem of the proposed new Sandpiper and line three corridor through the heart of our best lakes and wild rice watersheds and through our treaty territories. We also have the problem of this old crumbling line that Enbridge wants to abandon. And right now what abandonment means is that they just leave it and walk away. And the company says that they will take care of it, but it is not clear that there is any liability from the Enbridge Corporation. The worst part is that neither the United States government or the state of Minnesota has any plan to deal with it. The good news is, is that the Ojibwe tribes are standing up and a lot of landowners, county commissioners, and mayors are getting increasingly concerned about who's going to be liable for Enbridge's mess. So tell Governor Dayton to tell the state legislator and to tell county commissioners that abandonment is not what we want. We want big Canadian energy corporations to clean up their mess and not leave it for all of us. And we feel that they should put hardworking Minnesotans to work doing it. It's time to make a plan investing in cleaning up and stabilizing our existing infrastructure and building stuff that actually serves people. Miigwech, this is Winona Leduc.